Hello, my darlings. I'm just going to get comfortable. Sorry. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a speed build. Happy Friday. Welcome to Henford House. Uh, I just got really inspired with this festive season uh, being upon us. And I really wanted to build something that just felt like Christmas to me. So I really wanted to make a house that is a, a British countryside house. I wouldn't go as far to call this a manor. You could if you wanted. It is a four bedroom house. But I wanted to build an old style kind of Victorian looking um, countryside house. So that's what I've been and gone and done. And we've used lots of lovely custom content today as well. And I really enjoyed how this house came out. It's probably, and I'm saying it now, probably one of my favourite builds that I've done in a very, very long time. Um, I just had so much fun doing this. Had so much fun and I've made it very festive, but very classy festive, darlings. So there's, I think there's like four Christmas trees. I could be wrong. Three or four Christmas trees throughout this whole lot. Down on stairs on the ground level, we have a big kitchen dining area we have a children's playroom we have an office we have two sitting rooms uh, and a toilet and also a pantry too very big down there and then upstairs we've got four bedrooms and three bathrooms up there two of them being en suites my loves and yeah I just really loved getting this house together so building in one of my favorite worlds Henford on Bagley on a lot that I haven't built on built on yet it's a 50 by 40 lot and not the 64 by 64. I have built in 64 by 64 because as you all may know, the house in the expansion, the cottage living is mine, the farmhouse. I did that for that expansion. Um, and I really enjoyed it. And I've never built anything else in the countryside area apart from a cottage here and there. So it's been nice to do a bit more of a bigger style build. And this is what I came up with. Um, I played around, this all came from my head really. I did get inspired slightly with the doorway area from a picture I found on one of the retail not retail for goodness sake hayton one of the um letting companies or what do you call them real estate agents there we go real estate agents they had this beautiful doorway um and on on a house that i saw and i got inspired so i decided to do it today and here it is but yes, had very much fun doing this. Yes, I did. Wanted lots of chimneys on this build as well. Using this brick here, this is from Felixander. It is the London brick. All of the CC that I'm using today is that none of it's beyond a paywall. So you should be able to go and download it and slap it straight into your game, Starlings. Um, so no waiting around for early access or anything. So that's good. That's good in itself. So this was the doorway that I got inspired with this inspired by it was like this green arched door and i've used that lovely one there from felixander as well i think i think that is from the london collection and i use my favorite windows i've been using these windows to death lately and i love them these are from charlie pancakes and they are the maple construction windows they are gorgeous like sash georgian style beautiful windows that I adore and I've used them throughout the whole of this build minus those doors those doors there are from Felix as well I think as always I'll have li everything linked down below for you to go and download and slap into your game and I think you guys would love this this um build around this time of year because it's very festive and it's just a lovely family style home it's big enough but it doesn't feel like your sims are like walking around the house for ages. They kind of get to, you know, when you build a mansion and it takes about three years for your sims to like, you know, do one little task. This build doesn't really feel like that. It, yeah, they get everywhere quite easily. And I'm vibing. I'm absolutely vibing with this build. I really am. And as I said, one of my favorites that I've done in a very long time. And it just looks so nice in the snow. That's the best thing I like about it. It just looks very nice in the snow. Um, but yeah, anyway, ignore these fences. I was going for this fence in the beginning and I was just like, no, I'm not feeling that. It's a little bit too um, stately. I wanted this house to look quite posh, yes. But I also wanted it to look, I don't know. I can't really think of the right word to use. I didn't want it to look very regal. Uh, I wanted it to look comfortable countryside home. That's what I wanted. And the interior is probably my favourite interior. Uh, um, my favourite of this build is the interior. I just really love the colours that we used everywhere in the interiors. We've gone for very uh, reds and greens on the inside. So there is a kind of uh, festive theme with a the colour palette, but it doesn't feel like it's over the top or garish. And you could have it all year round. You just get rid of the trees and the house would still look really great. So lovely. And thanks to the organic pack from Felix and Harry. 
uh, I used quite a bit of that because that is my favourite custom content pack of all time. Yes, it is. And it came in really handy, including, as did, these uh, debug walls, fences, whatever. And I do go underneath them and put a, fe uh, a fence underneath them as well. So your sim won't be walking through that little cheeky bit there. And I didn't want to swamp this whole build in a wall because I thought the backdrop of it, that could kind of like look like it could be part of their land. Uh, so I left the back of the build actually open and I put some staircases down there as well. And it kind of looks like this house is just kind of like, you know, walled from the front instead. But yeah, I had to use a lot of tool mod in this as well with the fences because they were just being an absolute minge. But I managed to get it sorted. I really did. Very much did indeed. Now, I will be back on Tuesday and Wednesday, but those videos will be pre-recorded, my loves, because I am going away for a few days with my other half. We're going away for a little Christmas break before it gets a bit mad. Um... So videos on Tuesday and Wednesday will be pre-recorded. So just keep an eye out for them. Just keep an eye out for them, darlings. And I do go ahead and make sure everything would look very nice when it's not winter. Because I knew I wanted this house covered in snow for the video tour. And just for the actual build itself. Once I'm into the interiors, I think the snow stays where it is, love. So we get those festive vibes. But I still wanted this build to look great when it's different seasons so lovely little bit of lawning there as well do love a striped lawn yes i do i think you've made it in the world if you've got yourself a striped lawn to be honest um <laughs> don't see the point in it, it looks lovely but <laughs> i wouldn't go out of my way to get a striped lawn i was only joking just a minute ago <laughs> especially if you had to do it yourself i mean how boring how bloody boring would that be Really, really would be. So, custom content creators that I use in this um, build, Harry and Felix, um, both their uh, individual sets and their collaborations. I use Charlie Pancakes, Pierre Sim, Sixum CC, and I think that's it. I think that's it between maybe, oh no, Little Dicker as well. Sorry, I do use some Little Dickers there. Um, custom content as well but as always i'll try and link everything down below i i might miss a few things here and there but i'm gonna try my very best darlings i very much will i've had to update my uh my uh, google doc as well because i've got far more cc now far more cc than what i had before um so yeah that's 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 what's happened yes it has nice floor plan with this place as well i do really like the flow of the floor plan um i did want like two living rooms I had that in my head I wanted one kind of just off the kitchen a bit more of a snug kind of media room and then one main living room off to the main uh, hallway so that's what we do and I put a Christmas tree in each darlings yesterday and it just really worked really really worked I uh, hope you have a lovely weekend as well I hope you all have a lovely weekend as I said I will be back like doing all my videos next week but they will be pre-recorded. Oh, you'll probably hear me say that about 20 times in this, but you're just going to have to do it. You're just going to have to make do with that, love. You're just going to have to make do with it. I see a lot of the style houses around from where I live as well, like in the countryside and stuff, like some beautiful houses out there. I would love to go and like get some inspiration from them. I've never really done that, but I don't really like peeking at other people's houses. You know what I mean? It's a bit weird. Um, but well, well, I might do. We might give it a go. Anyway. We are into this is the main living area here so i've already pre-planned all the rooms as well i did like test furnishings just to make sure it was perfect i absolutely love that sofa there from felix under that sofa is just perfect it's just oh custom content i'm gonna say it now custom content is so much better than in-game objects it's um, and it that might be just my opinion but i i'm your opinion's wrong if you think the other way <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. We can all have opinions and get along. But I definitely feel like custom content is just... It's its less garish. It's less cartoonish. It kind of appeals to me a bit more being an older simmer. And I just find it a lot more classy. And I just find it a bit more believable and I prefer to use it. It's just a pain in the ass that not everybody can use it, you know? I really hate that. I don't like that about it, I will say. Uh, that is a bit of a shame. It really is. So we're into the other living area now. This is over the other side of the main hallway. Um, and this is just, this has got like two lovely double French doors out onto a little terrace area out the back there, which leads straight into the back garden. Not a huge back garden by any means, but enough 
for me. I think I put a swing set and stuff in there. You'll see that in the video tour at the end. Um, but I just wanted this room to be a bit more of a family gathering area. The sitting room could be when you have guests over. It's a bit more formal. There's no TV in there. Whereas this room, it's got a TV. It has got that Christmas tree as well. Uh, I do make sure they're decorated. And um, yeah, it just felt a bit more of a snug, you know, this room. And I like the fact that maybe in the summer you'd have those doors open and stuff. Do you know what I mean? And then up this area here, I made it a bit more... If your family were gathering in here, you'd be listening to music. So I used this turntable from Harry. And I also put a stand, a stand up piano in this room as well. And I think the piano's from Felix. I could be wrong at that. Uh, we'll have a look in a minute. I can't remember who did the upright piano. Uh, I still can't believe we do not have an upright piano in The Sims. We've only got the bloody grand pianos and they take up about 50 bloody tiles, don't they, darling? Um, but yeah cute and i wanted this little coffee table here to have like little cookies and stuff on it just to make it look like they could sit in here get snuggled up for the winter watch christmas film next to the christmas tree and have some cookies and whatnot oh i'm vibing with that and this lovely bookcase here is from the wonderful charlie pancakes one of my favorite cc creators um i love it and i use a lot of the um charlie pancakes books as well that goes on it it's stunning absolutely beautiful little poof down there darlings little poof and this is where i go for that piano whose is it yep it's a felix and a piano so there we go i flopped that in over that side and just outside the door here i put in two little cheeky rocking chairs i actually end up moving them a little bit and shuffling things along slightly here and then using this lovely cypress tree plant from felix as well uh i just thought it was very nice very nice i was going to use these um in the front of the build but for some reason those ones don't get uh snow on it uh they don't get snow on it for some reason so i made my own instead we went that way we're into the kitchen now i love this kitchen big countryside kitchen which i absolutely love and i use that wonderful oven there from sixum cc because it just reminds me of an arga you know one of those like big countryside house argas um which I love. They kind of heat up the whole house and stuff. And you can dry your clothes and things in front of them. I just thought it was gorgeous. So I used two of them next to each other. And yeah, used it down here. Very much for it indeed. I also put the dining room in here. I was going to put the dining room in the room that we're going to be seeing next. Which um, ended up being the kids' playroom. I just thought that was a nice touch. Having that near the sitting room and in between the kitchen is a good place for your kids to play. And parents can still keep an eye on them no matter what room they're in. I kind of thought that was a nice vibe. Using those wonderful pendant lights there as well above the island. They're from Felixander. That amazing fridge is from Little Dicker. Uh, I think it was part of his, I can't remember, what was it called? The kitchen pack? I can't remember what it was called. Delicious Kitchens? I think it was called that. Uh, love that fridge. Big, huge, double, like, two-tile fridge. And it works well in places like this, which is a pantry. And we use a lot of um, Sixum CC, uh, Sixum's beautiful pantry stuff. I end up using that. Oh, I, I want a mixer in the game as well. Like, it's so cool. Uh, I just thought it was a nice little spot or a pantry in here. It could have done with not having a window into this room in the pantry, but I, there was one in here and I'd looked outside to see if I could take it away. And it's just right at the front of the house. It would have just looked a little bit too weird. I even tried it and it just looked strange. So we cover it up with a blind instead. Ended up changing the color of the ovens as well. The orange looked good, but it just kept popping out at me a bit too much. So I softened it down with a bit of gray. Use these London cabinets from Felix Ander as well and use his Grove collection plates and bowls and sauces and stuff and that amazing plant as well. I love that plant. I think that is also from Felix. Uh, beautiful stuff going on in here. It really is. Flagstone flooring, exposed brick. And I we put a dining room in, but I end up changing out the windows in the dining room. You'll see that in just a second. I end up changing out the windows in the dining room um for to make it look a little bit more like a sunroom so maybe they could even utilize that in the summer they could take the dining room and put it somewhere else there's enough space in this house it's it's quite a large house and um utilize that as a bit of more of a garden room you know but for me for now it was a dining room or a sunroom and we use these here which are from harry's oh, i can't remember what collection it was from it was like a university add-on that she did quite a while ago I use those windows on there to make it look like a nice little conservatory. Organic table and bench, um, table and chairs. Uh, 
was playing around with that and I was like, do you know what? Let's get another Christmas tree in here. So I ended up getting another Christmas tree in the dining room as well. And it just worked out really nicely because when the family were all sat around having their Christmas meal in the video tour, you'll see that it ended up looking quite nice. And I ended up using these seasons garlands in here as well. They're, they're a bit dramatic, but I just thought it really worked. Uh, and I was kind of vibing. So as I said, this was the kids kind of playroom in between the... Uh, kitchen and the kind of little media sitting room and I just thought it made sense being here I've got a little puppet show going on and just a place for the kids to hang out and I end up using these uh, fairy lights which are from um the little campers kit pack I just don't get them they don't stick to the wall they don't do anything you have to lift it like I just don't get what they what are they what are we supposed to use them for I just I, I that, they bug me I think they were really badly executed. They should have done something completely different with those because they would have been so great if they had some kind of way to just stick to a wall. Like, it was just very stupid. Sometimes I don't know how the Sims team think. It's just, it's quite baffling, to be honest. It really is. So with this house, as I said, there are four bedrooms. I only show you how I furnish three of them, two of them being the kids' rooms, one of them being... I. I wanted a spare room, but I wanted each of the spare rooms because it is a four bedroom. So there are two. Well, one of them is for the parents, but two of the main bedrooms. I wanted them to kind of look lived in, but also like they could you you guys could pick which one would be the master and then you could like change the other one around if you wanted. You'll see both of the bedrooms in the video tour, but I only end up showing you how I furnish them or one of them um, in this speed build that took a while to get out then didn't it bloody hell so we're in the office we're in the little office this is still on ground floor level this is just off of the hallway as well i just really wanted a nice little private study where the parent can go away and work from home if they need to be or just have a little bit of me time in here you know so i end up doing that those wonderful curtains that you're seeing the kind of like ones that hit on the floor there they are from pierre sim they are absolutely gorgeous and I've really loved using them in this build. It's been, yeah, it's been very fun. Very fun to utilize a lot of new things that I haven't really used yet. And yeah, it just works well. It just works well together. And I think the house is very cohesive because I kind of st stuck with my favorite way of the neutral tones, but having a pop of color here and there. And yeah, I just think it came together really nicely and it just felt very festive and I'm definitely going to be playing this in gameplay with my legacy save. I think I'm going to move them into this house. They can afford it now. So I think I'm going to move them into this house. And this could be my legacy house, I think. I think it would be the perfect legacy house. Like a house you could hand down to generations and stuff. Kind of vibing with that idea. Might have to utilize it and make it happen. Yes. But yeah, very, very nice. You'll have to let me know down in the comments um, if you like this house, my love. And if you don't like it... You can piss off. I'm joking. <laughs> you can <laughs> you can let me know that too. I don't really mind, love, to be honest with you. I've been on YouTube many years now. <laughs> Any comment is fine by me at this point. <laughs> so this is one of the big bedrooms. Uh, I really love how this one came out. This one here is a little bit more neutral. We go a little bit more lighter. Yeah, not per se neutral, just a little bit more lighter and brighter in this room. Again, I've already pre-planned it out, so I'm just literally dragging in what I've already kind of planned out into the room, just so you guys can kind of see where it goes and whatnot. Um, but I still think it came together really nice. Came together very nicely, and it just looked really cosy when the fire and stuff was lit. Those amazing fireplaces, by the way, the big stone ones, they are from Pierre Sim as well, and I'm absolutely in love with them they are so good absolutely amazing there's even one that doesn't have a fire in it and you can fit those books that i've put on top you can actually fit them inside the fireplace and they look amazing they really really do and i've used a couple of them throughout the house one in the children's bedroom but one also out on the landing we use them there and put the books inside them and it just looks great oh it's making me feel very festive i think this would be the perfect house for a christmas film i really do perfect house for a christmas film um, and, and I don't mean to watch one. I mean, you could watch one here and it would be perfect. I mean, if you could like, you know, when there's these amazing houses in these Christmas films, I think this could be the house, you know, you know where I'm going. Yes, that's where we're going. <laughs> 
and this is probably one of my favorite bookcases it's the organic bookcase i just love it some lotion and some tissues next to the bed there because i am indeed a filthy bitch we flopped them in there and i don't know i just think it came together really nicely very nicely indeed and i am complimenting my own work and this goes to you lot as well compliment if you're proud of something that you've done make sure you compliment yourself love self-love i'm all about it absolutely you don't doesn't mean that you're big-headed um it just means that you're proud of what you've done and it then satisfies yourself into thinking it's a um accomplishment and that's where i'm going with that thank you so one of the kids rooms one of them is a lot smaller than the other uh and i don't really mind that i don't really mind that but i thought maybe i had two kids so i built this house for two kids in the sims that were moving in here um i maybe would have done the bigger room where i'm dragging the stuff from now which is the other kids bedroom i probably would have done that a bit more of a teen bedroom but just to fit in with the narrative of who i was building it for it was a kids bedroom so it was definitely a lot larger than this one but they were still really nicely they, they came together really well and charlie pancakes a uh, small collection came in so handy with these rooms and also ow sorry i just banged my mic and also uh, the tiny travelers from felix and harry beautiful collection that i still use in all of my kids bedrooms um i just think it's gorgeous it's just it's just classy it's just classy stuff no garish thing in sight i love that stripy rug with the red and green though i just i don't know again as i said i wanted to bring a bit of a festive feel to it by subtle use of color uh, and I do that in every single room in the house. So, yeah, really do enjoy it. Yes, I do indeed. So you'll have to let me know if you download this into your game as well. I'd be very interested to know if you um, are enjoying playing in it. And it will be up on the gallery because I'm getting all of the custom content linked today. And yes, glorious times indeed. Yes, it is indeed. So this is that other kid's bedroom, as I was saying. It's a lot bigger look. There was a lot... It's a definitely a bit of a peculiar shape. So it was kind of fun to furnish. It was fun to kind of like think, oh, this can go there. It took a while. And this is the best what I came up with. There's that fireplace I was on about where it's com completely like free in the middle. So I reckon they would have blocked it off being in the kids' rooms. And you can slot the books inside them. Oh, I love that object so much. Um, I cannot remember what the collection is called uh, because it is in French and I'm not French and Pierre Sim is French. So <laughs> I I don't know what it's called. This crocodile wasn't going anywhere. So I had to put it down with a tool mod a few times. It was being a bitch, but we managed to do it in the end. And it looks great up there. Love a crocodile. Yes, I do. Not a real one because I probably shit myself if one came near me. Oh my bloody God. <gasps> I pooped my pants then. Sorry, love. Something's just updated on my computer. I hope that didn't <laughs> I bet that I'm going to have to make sure that I um, turn the volume down on that at the end. Bloody hell. Sorry, I probably made you poo your pants then. I jumped out my bloody skin. Anyway, as I said, kids' bedroom. I just think the shape of this is nice. It's like little nooks. Everywhere's got something to do as well. A little desk area. I put a keyboard up on this room as well. Um, yeah, I just really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed building this. And as I said, especially the interiors. Now, I only show you one bathroom, but the bathroom looks exactly the same throughout the house. I went for the same vibe and it's coming right up now. So we've used this tile here from Felix Ander, which is stunning. I want this tile in my own bathroom. Um, and this is a huge bathroom. So I managed to do a really nice, big, old style bathroom with shower, bath, two sinks, toilet. It all goes in, darlings, but... I just really enjoyed the look of this and how it came together. Really did. Anyway, you guys are going to flop on over in just a tickety-boo and watch a cheeky little video tour. Uh, as I said, I will be back on Tuesday. It will be pre-recorded. Uh, I will be reading comments and stuff while I am away, but I might not get to replying until I get back. Um, but that's it. Have a wonderful weekend. Now go and watch this festive video tour and I'll see you all next week. Goodbye. Thank mm -hmm. you.